Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial series on Raspberry Pi for complete beginners. In this series, you will get started with Raspberry Pi step by step in a practical way. If you don't know anything about Raspberry Pi, this tutorial series is for you. And if you're already familiar with the board but you feel like you could need a quick refresher of the basics, well, the tutorials are also going to be super helpful. In this series, you will set up your Raspberry Pi without even needing an external monitor. You will learn how to use the GPIO header to control hardware components, how to create a web server hosted on the Raspberry Pi, and much more. And just before we get started, this tutorial series is actually a free extract of a much longer Raspberry Pi course. If you are interested, check out the link in the description. And now let's get started with the series. In this first video, you are going to understand what Raspberry Pi is exactly. Let's start. What is Raspberry Pi and what can you do with it? The Raspberry Pi is a very small computer the size of a credit card, but it is quite powerful and it can run a lot of applications. So what can you do with this board? And this is where the Raspberry Pi truly shines. Here are some examples of projects you can easily make with a Raspberry Pi. You can automate your home, make your personal devices smarter with IoT or Internet of Things. You can also build a retro gaming console, create a security or an alarm system, host a server for a web or mobile application. You can even run a Minecraft server on your Raspberry Pi. Program robots, such as robotic arms, drones, hexapult, mobile robots, etc. Create a smart mirror. You can also install different operating systems, for example, Raspberry Pi OS, Ubuntu, Windows, IoT, and much, much more. Or simply use the Raspberry Pi as your own portable computer. And of course, this list is far from being exhaustive. You can find much more projects online and you can also get inspired to create your own custom projects. One great thing about Raspberry Pi is the community. So what does the community bring to you? Well, for example, you can see what other people do with their Raspberry Pi. You can ask questions, get some help for more advanced users. You can also collaborate with other users on similar projects and progress together. Raspberry Pi is created by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The goal of the foundation is to make computers and digital making available for everyone across the world. For less than $40, you can get the Raspberry Pi board and the complete setup with computer, screen, keyboard, and mouse would cost you less than $100, which is a very good first step when you compare this price with the price of any other computer or laptop available on the market. The first Raspberry Pi board was released in 2012. Then, the foundation has continued to develop new iterations to make the board more powerful, add more functionalities, make it easier to use, and develop the community. In 2015, the Raspberry Pi 2 was released, with much more computation power than the first one. Then the Raspberry Pi 3 came in 2016 with again more computation power and this time the Wi-Fi feature was directly integrated in the board so you don't have to use a Wi-Fi USB dongle anymore. Today the latest version is the Raspberry Pi 4 released in 2019. This new version is really great, much better performance than the version 3 a few changes in the external connectors to make it compatible with modern applications and an increased amount of RAM. In fact, with Raspberry Pi 4, you can even choose the amount of RAM you want. The Raspberry Pi 2 and 3 had 1GB of RAM, which was already good. Now, for the Raspberry Pi 4, you can choose between 2GB, 4GB and even 8GB of RAM, which is huge for that board. At the beginning, the Raspberry Pi 4 was also available with 1GB of RAM, but not anymore. Now, what can you find on the board? Here, you have the CPU, RAM, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chips, and all other components required to make the Raspberry Pi work. And let's focus on the connectors. You have 
one Ethernet port with Gigabyte Ethernet, four USB ports, including two USB 3 ports in blue, one USB-C port to power on the board, two micro HDMI ports with 4K video support for two external displays, a jack audio output port, one display port for the Raspberry Pi touchscreen, one port for the Raspberry Pi camera module, a micro SD slot on the back of the board, and actually you will install the operating system directly on a micro SD card. And finally you have a 40 pins or GPIO header to control different hardware components. GPIO means General Purpose Input Output. This header is the same for the Raspberry Pi 2B, 3B and the Raspberry Pi 4. Alright, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Raspberry Pi named Raspberry Pi for Beginners. This course contains 10 hours of hands-on video lessons. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.